Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cover, welcome to series where I teach you how to build a Discord.py bot. Today we are going to be using the bot to send messages, embeds and attachments to specific channels. So let's get into it. Um, first, well, uh, all we're really going to be uh, dealing with in this is the onReady function because we're just going to be putting it all in the onReady function for now, uh, just to show how it works. But uh, obviously when it comes to like building commands and stuff, we'll be doing it uh, in different ways and such. I'm just trying to get my headphones out of the way of the microphone, there we go. Um, so uh, yes, the first thing we're going to do is just send a normal text message um, to a given channel. There are a number of different ways you can get um, a particular text channel. One is through commands which we're not dealing with yet, so we're not going to go into that yet. The other way is to literally just get a channel using its ID. So every channel has an ID, so we're going to be uh, just sending it in this uh, channel that I created specifically for this purpose. Um, if you turn developer mode on, if you go to server settings... Uh, where, no, it wouldn't be server settings, it would be user settings. Uh, user settings down here, it's in appearance, okay. So if you come down here and click uh, uh, developer mode down here, you don't need application test mode. That's not important, but you do need developer mode on to get some of the context items. Come over here to your channel, wherever you want to put the message, right click it and hit copy ID. Uh, this will copy your, your channel's ID, so if I just put it in there, it'll look like that. We can use the ID to actually get that particular channel. So if we come back to our little thing here, we can say that channel uh, equals uh, self, because we just need the self, uh, and our bot has a uh, has a method called get channel which takes an ID and returns a channel object Now this channel object we can use to send things so we need to await this because it's an asynchronous function anything to do with the discord API um, is asynchronous so it needs to be awaited it needs to be defined with an async if you're not sure which parts are asynchronous and which parts aren't just do everything as an async um, so long as it's called from the bot it literally is not going to do you any harm so you can do await channel dot send um, and this uh, so every channel object and every member object and everything like that has a send um, so we can now just send a message saying now online to our channel and when we launch the bot we need to actually change the version real quick uh, to the quick two fantastic um, Launch the bot, uh, there was no, oh yeah, because I changed the thing, didn't I? <laughs> I never changed this. Yeah, um, I I originally had uh, the token just as token, and then when I tried to ignore it in the git ignore, it wouldn't find it at all, so I had to make it token.0. Um, so that's where a little bit of confusion came in. Um, that just closed because I launched the wrong file, so I need to launch launcher. Um, connected bot ready so if you come over here we should see that our bot has now posted now online into our channel um, and the bot is online as we can see here um, <clears throat> now that in itself while incredibly useful is not amazingly exciting it is very simple thankfully but we can do something a bit uh, more fun than that so if we come up to the top um, we can from discord import embed Help if I actually wrote import there. Um, and now we can create embeds. So I might actually make the text a bit bigger because um, I didn't do that last time. And uh, I feel as though some people may have been a bit angry at that. Apologies. Um, again, uh, kind of get back into this. Um, so we can now create an embed. We're just going to call it embed. And we can do an embed here. Uh, and an embed has a number of different attributes. So it has a title. Um, which we can just set as title, I guess. Or oh, we can do like now online, why not? Um, <clears throat> and then we can have a description, which we are just going to set as I know Carburetta is. Oops, it is is now online. This is just going to be like a little test one, so it's not going to have super huge amounts of information. Um, and to add fields we use our embed dot add field and then we take a name which is going to leave blank for now and a value which is just going to leave blank for now actually we'll call it a uh, name equals name and value equals value for now um, uh, whenever you want to add a field you actually have to do is 
ev literally this whole line every time and it gets very messy very quickly especially if you want to do a lot of fields um, <clears throat> and also uh, also these uh, fields have a variable called inline by default this is true so if the inline is true it means the embeds can appear next to each other or oh, embed fields can appear next to each other if that is false then that uh, field is the only thing that can exist on that row uh, it'll make a bit more sense when we go into it but I'm going to explicitly define this as true even though you don't need to um, but yeah, it can get very messy so what we can do is we can come down here uh, I'll put it all itself and define a set of fields um, I'm going to define this as a list of tuples because it's just easier where uh, the first element of the tuple is going to be our name oh, name our second element is going to be value and our inline is going to be set to true um, so we can do this and then we can have a few other fields as well so uh, let's see I don't know um, another field uh, this field is next to the other one uh, and we'll set that to true explicitly um, and you can have another one here it says uh, I don't know um, a third uh, non inline field um, this field will appear on its own row and we're going to set inline to false here not that false this false um so we can do here is uh oh come on there we go oh yeah 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 for name value inline in fields we can say embed dot add field name equals name value equals value inline equals inline um, and that will create our embed. Uh, if I just quickly uh, await channel.send embed equals embed, and we now launch the launcher again, and we just wait because it'll take a little while to launch. Someone's joined the server in the meantime. Uh, as we can see here, we, uh, the bot is now online, copyright is now online, name, value, and other field. This field is next to the other one. A non-inline field is field appear on its own row. So this one has appeared on its own row. Uh, however, there are a, a few other things we can do with embeds. So we can set the color. Uh, if I just go back here, <clears throat> uh, we can set the color. So I believe we actually set that here. Um, and for the time being, we're just going to set it as bright red um, because I can't remember what color the Cobra branding normally uses. So we're just going to have it as bright red. Um, <clears throat> And we can either create a discord dot color object or we can just pass a hexadecimal value T to do that we do 0x and then the value so ff in this case it'd be ff naught 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 and that is bright red um <clears throat> uh the color technically takes an integer but because we're defining it like this uh, Python will convert that into an integer. So if I just quickly launch the idle, um, if I do like 0 fx 0 0 it should come out, yeah, it will come out as this integer, which Discord will be able to interpret as a color. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically how that works. Uh, we can also set an author and a footer. Um, so the author, I don't quite remember how to set the author actually, I might have to quickly look that up. Uh, we'll set the footer first and I'll show it in an hour. I'll do that. Uh, so we, after the field, after all the fields, we can do embed or set footer. We don't need to wait for this. Um, we can set it as I don't know. This is a footer. <laughs> um, I don't know what to put. Okay, I'm just trying to. Oh, the guy's left again immediately. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful sight. Um, as you can see, oh, the, the footer hasn't appeared. Is there an error? error? It takes one position argument, but two were given. Does Do we have to put text here? You might have to put text there. Um, hmm. 
Oh, we, have, we haven't applied the foot after. Oh, we've applied the foot after we set the base. <laughs> that's not. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's not quite the order we want to do it in. Um, <laughs> we want to actually apply the footer before we send the message, that would be good. Um, and there we go, we have our footer, this is a footer. Uh, we can also set a, time, a timestamp and an author, I'm going to quickly look up how that's done because I can't quite remember, just give me one second. Imagine knowing how the Discord API worked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're actually going to bring this down on the line because, I might actually just make that a bit more aligned. Uh, we're actually going to set a timestamp variable. So the timestamp um, is what appears uh, in some developers use it, some developers don't. But essentially what we can do is we can come up here and uh, it'll be easier to show you I'll just talk about it. From date time import UTC, nope, import date time and then we're just going to use UTC now because it's easier. Uh, date time dot UTC now um, and that will assign a timestamp uh, about the footer thing it is roughly how I remember it uh, set author, oh, sorry, the author thing um, and the author we set a name uh, so the name can literally, uh, literally be anything so we could just set it to Carver Tutorials um, and the icon uh, the icon URL is optional um, it is essentially uh, a picture that gets displayed. So we can say, uh, do we actually set self dot golden ready? Uh, I don't think we do. Oh, I probably should have done that. <laughs> uh, self dot guild equals that's oh, that's bad form. Uh, guild and then oh, the, the video is already rendered and ready now, so I can't go back and change it. But we can just do that now, real quick. Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> oh, that, that that's gonna trip up a few people. Um, I might quickly add a. Oh no, we'll see if I go back and add that in. Um, it's probably a good idea. I do. Uh, so we do self dot guild dot. I think it is just icon URL. I might be wrong. Uh, we'll see. If it, if it's wrong, I'll go and quickly look it up. But this should be right. It was right, fantastic. Um, oh, and it supports uh, animated ones as well. So as you can see now, we have our date down here. I don't know if you can see that's quite small. Uh, but we have our date. It's oh, it's the right time. That's interesting. It should be UTC now, shouldn't it? <laughs> Hang on. Um, whoops. It is UTC now. Well, my computer's just having a fit, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. That should say 233, but never mind. I'm not going to question it. Um, when you're running it on a Linux VPS server, they were on UTC time anyway. As you can see, we have our author name, which is uh, Carver Tutorials, and we have our icon here, which we've gotten. Uh, this is more useful for, if, uh, for commands and stuff, but I just wanted to show you how the author actually worked. Um, now rather than later. So if you go back to our program, now that we're done with embeds, I don't think there's anything else that we really need to talk about. So there are some things that I forgot to do originally. Um, I'm hoping you're not going to see editing me too much. Um, from what I've edited uh, for future videos, this is the last time you're going to see me for a while. However, of course, things may change. Um, but I just want to make sure that I do get everything in one go. Um, rather than have all these things that are kind of semi-complete and whatever ignore ignore what you just saw that was me uh, already trying to do this once and f failing miserably <laughs> oh it's it's been a it's been a fun it's been a fun 10 minutes for me so <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is set the thumbnail we are just going to set all the images the same color uh, the same colour, the same image. I am actually losing my shit. It's like 11.50. I've been editing for about three hours now. <laughs> um, so we're going to set a thumbnail and an image. These are both images. We're just going to use the guild icon URL for both of them. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to embed set URL, uh, set thumbnail URL equals self.guild.iconurl and embed.setImage uses very much the same thing so URL equals 
the self dot guild dot icon URL. <coughs> Uh, please keep in mind that uh, these URLs only accept all these uh, methods only accept HTTPS links, well HTTP or HTTPS links. Um, nothing else will work. Ignore, ignore this REPL. That is that. Mm, yep. Yeah. <laughs> ignore the fact that this channel no longer exists. <laughs> what is an error? Why? Uh, set th thumbnail. Yes. We're going to be setting the. Th the uh, the thumbnail. Uh, unfortunately, the Discord API doesn't support uh, setting the thumbnail in version one point three point three. Um, hopefully, by version one point four, they'll fix that. Oh, there we go. They're all synced as well. Look at that. See, you can now send your uh, your thumbnail. You can set your thumbnail. Here we are, and you can also set your uh, image to be the, uh, the the thing as well, and it can all be animated. It can all be wonderful. And I'm glad that actually works. So I'll get back to the actual video now. Um, we could talk about files. So to do that, I do actually do a bit of directory management uh, about getting an image into a directory. Let's just use our profile picture. There it is. Um, uh, B programs. There we are. I remember how I organize things. Don't worry. Uh, data. And then if you wanted to do, you could set a new directory called images. Um, and just plonk it in there. I'm just using this as a. How was that? That's just some scream outside. I'm just using this as a um, as an example. This won't be in the final version, obviously. So you can come up here and import files well, and then uh, we can await channel dot send file equals file. This should just work. Um, oh, we need a string. We're using our relative import and we're going to do data slash images slash profile dot png. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, this is just sending a file. You can uh, create a file object just using a file path, and Discord will do the rest. So that should be enough. So that should now send a load of stuff. There we go. So we now have our uh, the Carbra icon there as well as everything else. Um, so that is how to send, I've watched one thing, uh, that is how to send uh, messages, embeds and files uh, using discord.py. Uh, if you like the video then say hello down below, uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below as well, or you can join the discord server as whatever guy did there and then immediately left again did. Um, it's always good when someone joins and then leaves immediately. Um, if you really like the video, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon because it would be a really cool thing to do. But of course, you don't have to. Um, in the meantime, you can join me for the next video where we will be handling errors. So we'll be doing our on error and on command error stuff. Um, so I'll see you then.